almost impossible. Actually, it is impossible <laughs> yes, to it avoid is. sweets around the holidays. And if you love them, you shouldn't have to avoid them, right? Yes! Yes. Nutritionist Dr. Daryl Jeffrey joins us now with tips for enjoying those sweets without sabotaging your healthy habits. Thanks for joining us. That's that's music to yes. the ears to millions. Absolutely. Good morning, guys, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And absolutely, we know there's going to be sweets around. In fact, they're going to be everywhere. So this is typically the time when we stress eat the most. And here's what I'm going to tell you guys. It's okay to indulge. But we have to remember, let's indulge with balance. Oh. This is a holiday, not a hollow week, uh, right? Yeah. So we need to have some good tips and tricks to get through the holidays. So by January 1, we're ready to rock and roll for the new year with that energy ready to go. All okay, right. so what's the first thing we should kind of focus on or do? Yeah, it's not about deprivation. I think that's the most important thing. Um, you know, we have to really anticipate what's ahead. So if there um, is going to be a holiday party or you're going to be going to a dinner with family or friends, just remember what you need to do. You know, if it's a potluck dinner, bring something healthy. So at the very least, you have something that you can put on your plate. If there's going to be some drinks, it's okay to have a drink. But instead of having two, maybe have one. And here's the thing. If you do go off the rails, which, you know, we want to try not to do, don't let that be a week-long spiral. The next day, let's get right back at it onto our health regime. That is the biggest problem, that that, that bandwagon you fall off mm -hmm. and you can't get back on. You're like, well, oh. I'm already off. I might as well just stay off. Right. But again, it's good to get back on. And you have some uh, ideas of ways to substitute some of our favorites, right? Yeah, and that's what I love about this. It's not about giving up the things that you love, especially during the holidays. So we want to use healthy swaps so you can still enjoy a healthier version of that specific food. So what do uh, our kids love this time of year? Hot cocoa, hot mm -hmm. chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we created a healthier version of that called maca hot chocolate. And basically what this has is maca, it has turmeric, it has coconut oil, some almond milk, and some cinnamon. I love maca because it's good for performance. It's great for energy. It balances your mood. And the turmeric is amazing because of its anti-inflammatory effects. Mm -hmm. This is going to boost your energy and keep you going all day long. And it still feels like a treat. So you're still getting that the thing you want yeah it's a nourishing tree and that's what i love my kids love this you know it tastes delicious so you still feel like you're getting the real thing but you have all these other superfoods that you add into it to give you those added health benefits and i like this other recipe you have the avocado chocolate yes. mousse i'm telling you guys this tastes so good you're gonna think that you're cheating in fact this is one of kelly ripa's favorite recipes in my book um you know you think about avocado in a health dessert, it's like, wow, what's that? But your kids won't even know that you snuck it in there. Oh. Avocado is God's butter. It's a healthy <laughs> keto fat. And then you have cacao, which is a unrefined version of chocolate, which is high in minerals. So on the contrary, this is going to actually reduce your cravings for sugar. And this is going to strengthen your body from the inside out. Make extra of this one because it's not going to last. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I, I've heard a lot about the avocado mm -hmm. and how good it is and it's healthy, but people think guacamole, guacamole is not good for you. So how can ha Wait. avocado be good for you? But guacamole is it, okay, right? I don't know. It yeah. depends on what guacamole. you put in it, right? Yeah, I, I guess you can make any food good or bad, That's but true. guacamole is amazing. It's a health food. Um, you know, and, and avocado is amazing because it's got these healthy fats that suppress hunger. And what I love about it is when you put healthy fats into the body, uh -huh. it helps your body burn fat. Oh. So you can actually burn fat by eating this delicious treat. Oh, that's a good one. And I've seen like good. avocado banana bread. I've seen like, the, like these avocado mousses. That is such a good one. Can these things also help you get back on track? Say you have a day or two where you kind of go off the rails and you have those sugar cravings. Will this help you rein it back in? Definitely. You know, it's all about adding, adding, adding. And when we add foods that help, that basically strengthen your body and, and that are going to be more healthy for you, what we'll find is that they tend to crowd out those other bad acidic inflammatory foods. And that's the goal. It doesn't have to be about perfect. It's not about deprivation. It's moderation. But if we can think about some of these foods, like these two recipes we talked about today, adding more like this, what you're going to find is that that good will outweigh the bad so that by the time we get to the new year, we're going to be in a much better place. And that's what it's all about. Let's enjoy the holiday, but let's keep it balanced at the same time. All right. Some great advice, Dr. Yeah. Jeffrey. You've given us hope that yes. we can enjoy this holiday season and not be feeling like uh, Stay Puff, the marshmallow man. <laughs> well, he still might, but <laughs> next day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank Absolutely, you so much. Absolutely, guys. Thanks, everybody. My pleasure. Have a wonderful holiday. You, you do too. the same.